Time now for my annual rundown of the top 10 best free-to-play Steam games. This is the 2018 edition. Number 10, The Dummy Experiment. You play as a test dummy who is being subjected to a series of horrible experiments developed by a crazy mad scientist named Dr. Strong. The player selects a dummy at the beginning of the game and your mission is to simply escape the facility. This game requires enormous patience to get up to speed on because the dummy's movements have to be very carefully timed, otherwise you fall over and die. But when you do begin to figure it out, it becomes quite satisfying. The challenge is in just navigating your environment and carefully balancing your dummy as he moves and avoids obstacles. Number nine, Flora. There's something very strange about this game. It's one of those open world experience titles with colorful graphics and a trippy dreamlike quality to it. You play as Twig, and you're accompanied by some kind of tree-like companion called Red. Your purpose is to befriend the creatures of the forest and uncover lost abilities from your ancient past in order to overcome the evil that's rising in the forest. It's extremely simple and the screaming plants get a bit freaky after a while, but it's free and not a bad way to pass the time. Number 8, The Cursed Tower. It's an old-school style, story-driven platformer game that looks like something straight out of a 1990s 8 or 16-bit console. You play as a postal worker armed with only a letter opener and some jumping skills, as you overcome a range of obstacles and dangers. If you like retro platform games, you'll like this. Number 7, Vega Conflict. I wanted to include at least one older game on this list, and I haven't previously featured Vega Conflict. Available across all platforms for desktop computers and mobile devices, this space combat real-time strategy game allows you to command vast intergalactic ships in enormous fleet battles. You can even team up with other players online to help take back the galaxy from the evil Vega Federation. It's not exactly Homeworld, but that would be a very high bar to reach. But the graphics are pretty good, and there's decent variation in the gameplay, as certain opponents require different strategies in order to defeat them. Number 6, Tactical Monsters Rumble Arena. If you like your turn-based tactical fighting games, this one will keep you coming back. Your goal is to collect monsters and use them in battle. Each monster has their own unique abilities, and their skills can be developed as they proceed through each arena. Your monster builds up their ultimate meter during play, allowing them to use their ultimate ability move to deliver massive damage to an opponent. Yes, I've also played many games like this in the past. This concept is not exactly original, but it is fun. Although I really resent the constant nannying tutorial screens when you first play it. What is with modern video games nowadays? Developers never want to just leave you to figure things out for yourself like they did years ago. Now they have to guide you by the hand every step of the way as if you've never played a video game before. Number 5, Zula Europe. This is an FPS title that takes you to locations in Turkey, northern Iraq, and other regions throughout the Middle East with realistic and authentic paramilitary weapons, soldier uniforms, and specs. You can play as two different factions, the Zula, who are a vigilante group who are mistaken as being an organized crime syndicate, or you can play as the Gladio, a global infiltrating paramilitary force. This one is well worth a look. Number 4, Space Wars Interstellar Empires. This one is early access and still in beta, but it looks like there's huge potential here. It's described as a turn-based tactical strategy game where you side with a powerful galactic faction, each with its own fleet and playstyle and gain access to hundreds of distinct spacecrafts. The aim is to fight for your race, be they the humans of the Sol Imperial Worlds, the Jirai United Empire, the Ma'aleth Federation, or the Hive. Turn-based combat and tactical game dynamics of course apply. Though I say it has potential, the respawn times are a tad slow, and the combat could also do with being a hell of a lot quicker at times. Let's see how things develop before the full release. Before I give you my top three games on this list, it's time for a word from our sponsor for this video, Private Internet Access, a virtual private network to keep you safe and secure online. Line. Whether you're surfing the web at home or you're using a public Wi-Fi in an airport, library or cafe, your data is not secure and you can be spied on. Your browsing history can be seen by your ISP, that's absolutely every site you visit, they can see it, they know the sites you're viewing. Protect yourself and your data. Keep safe online by signing up to private internet access today. It's an easy to use VPN that provides a secure encrypted tunnel and IP cloaking. You can bypass geographic restrictions, block malware, ads, and trackers, and no one will know what website you're visiting. It's available on all platforms, Mac, PC, and even mobile devices, so you can also get this on your smartphone as well. Use the affiliate link in the description box below and sign up to private internet access today. 
Number three, Dead Maze. This is a post-apocalyptic zombie invasion game set in contemporary America. There's been a massive tsunami that's wiped out a lot of the country. The game starts off like a kind of classic teen horror film. A young couple's car breaks down on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Before too long, you're fighting zombies. You scavenge for food and supplies and fight against the undead, trying to get help from other human characters. You have to manage your sleep and energy levels. It's intense with beautiful graphics and gorgeous cartoon artwork. Really well worth playing and a story you'll get wrapped up in pretty quickly. Number two, Hex Commander Fantasy Heroes. Another turn-based strategy game has made it onto the list. You're in the middle of a conflict with humans, orcs, goblins, elves, and dwarves. Sounds a lot like Lord of the Rings, and that's the kind of atmosphere and lore you'll experience here. You build up your mighty army and train and develop your units in combat. You can use terrain as cover during battle also. Finally, number one, World of Warships. Previously, I've included World of Tanks Blitz on this list. That was actually last year's number one. Now it's time to take to the high seas with some naval combat. This is an MMO action game that includes some really beautiful graphics and a wide range of vessels to choose from. Apparently, there's more than 200 historic ships. There's a lot of modifications you can bring to bear on your ships here, and they're essential if you're going to progress further in the game. That includes camouflage and weapons upgrades, as well as the ability to enlist the assistance of experienced commanders with advanced military and tactical skills. They'll help to streamline and improve the performance of your crew. So guys, that concludes this list of 10 awesome free-to-play Steam games. Let me know if there's a game you think should have made this list. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.